Hey YouTube, it's Michael Lambert here. I'm back once again with another reaction video. Once again, I'm reacting to Two Cent Chick in this video. McDonald's, Grimace's birthday meal, new Grimace shake review, special guest. This is the new one that she uploaded yesterday and I'm going to react to it right now. And if any notifications pop up during the video, I apologize and I will take care of them. Now let's get to this video. It's Grimace's birthday and I brought some with me, with me to celebrate. This is my neighbor, Dan. Hello. I'll tell you more about Dan later. But first you need to try the shake. So this is a berry, it's a berry shake. It's berries and, it's and vanilla ice cream. So my question is, how many people are gonna really be able to get this with the machine being broke? I don't know how they're gonna add berries to the machine. Do they mix it after? Do they put the vanilla know. ice cream in, put the berries and mix? But all their advertising is saying it's not just a vanilla with purple food coloring. It's actually berries. Right, it's that it's berries. Yeah. So. Because, you know, I just assumed it would probably be vanilla right, with purple right, food or, coloring. Right, or some, yeah, some flavoring added. But it should have sprinkles. There's sprinkles on the package. Right, it's not. It's just, oh, oh, it's just with cream. And it should have been a bag, a Grimace bag. And for what I paid for this, I feel really chipped right now. But right now, you can only get the meal, the premise meal, which is either the Big Mac or the nuggets, 10 nuggets and fries. Yeah. And the shake. Wow. And here I paid, it's 13. These meals are such a re... Oh, sorry. 14, 68 it looks like. I know some people who pay more. Good. 68. Grimace better be going to college. <laughs> well, Grimace is like 52 now. <laughs> I'm pretty thing. sure Grimace is not going to college. I think Grimace is going to make some money on this. <laughs> yeah. He wanted his share. Um, in other places, I've heard in Florida, it's like 60. I'm like. Hold on, everyone. Snoopy. I think Snoopy wants some attention. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that, everybody. You can buy it. The thing is, they get you because you can't just buy the shake right now. You have to buy it in the meal. So I think that's pretty interesting. Now it's McFast Casual. <laughs> it is. It's no longer fast food. It's not. All right. So I will let you try it. I'll try it. You let try it first. Do you want to take your girl out for an expensive date? <laughs> Go to McDonald's. This is get a grandma shake. Oh, that right. Nice. That's good. But don't tell me. I want no reaction. It was very thick. I'm not allowed to have any reaction. Now you can have reaction. So, the first sips were to me vanilla and then the blueberry kicked in and it was amazing it's still very subtle it's not it's not a strong blueberry flavor i think you're not deep enough for something because to me it's a super awesome berry well look at look at the bottom look how it's darker well maybe you were too deep <laughs> strong to me. Oh. It's very blueberry. It's semi-blueberry. It it's reminds very me sweet. of the very best dum-dum, which is the blueberry dum-dum, which you can barely ever find. Really? Yeah. Oh my god, some my pantry. I'll see. You like the blueberry dum-dum? No. <laughs> You're saying more like blueberries and muffins? This doesn't taste like a real blueberry. It tastes like candy blueberry. Wow. It's very sweet, though. Yeah. I need some fries to go with this. You need fries to go with that shake? <laughs> I do. I need some salt. Um, mm. So you would get this again. This is the yummiest blueberry shake ever had. <laughs> I've never had a blueberry shake. Okay, not either, but still. <laughs> <laughs> So you would get it again. Wait, it, now it, I got down to just like vanilla. Hold on. Well, why isn't this thing mixed up right? So this makes me think that it's not out of, straight out of the machine. If it's so yeah, inconsistent. Because. I guess I could have asked. Now I got some vanilla. Yeah, 
Yeah, move around because the blueberries are yummy. Yeah, I got a little more blueberry then. But this thing is so sweet. Yeah, it's awesome. I'm too sweet for me. <laughs> we may need to revive some of that kid inside uh, and maybe. realize this is like candy. Maybe, because the older I get, the less sweet I like. Not me. I see that. <laughs> you know you can't buy those anymore. Okay, even for like your tea? I, I don't even understand. They're nowhere. I guess you'd have to order them on Amazon because they're not in Kroger. Sugar cubes. You could get them wet and build castles and stuff. I never did that. What? Wait, did you grow up in the north? Uh, well, I guess it's because Kentucky's considered the north. I always thought Kentucky was the south, but until I moved here. Have you been to the Kentucky Castle in Lexington? I'm not. Maybe that's why. Then I want to build sugar cubes. <laughs> if you love sugar cubes, you would love this shake. Oh. Because it's straight sugar. It is. It is. With a blast of blueberry. Not really a blast. I wouldn't say. Blast. <laughs> There's no blast to it. It's like a splash. Dum dum blueberry blast. It was awesome. Uh, well. So this is the first new shake they've had. What? Since, Since Shamrock, Shamrock. Which that's been years. Is that 30? Really? I guess they've there had... Was, it was a huge number, whatever it was. They've had new McFlurries. Yeah, I guess they don't count that as a shake. No. Even though shake. it is a shake. It's not a shake. How is it not a shake? It. Oh, because you can't drink it. That classifies as a shake. But don't they turn it upside down or something? Oh, that's the other people. Oh, oh I see. What the frost? Isn't that a shake? Oh, that's his own category. <laughs> Vanilla, the strawberry frosty is not good, by the way. Carter loves the strawberry. That's his favorite. Really? Yes. It's just like a regular strawberry shake. He loves it. He loves it. He's so happy to say. Wow. I like chocolate. I think the only is chocolate. Everything else is a shake. There's something different about the chocolate. Yeah, there is. There's a flavor to it that like you a, know it's a... Yeah. That's a frosty. frosty. Like this, there's a blueberry that you know is a grimace. So if you see grimace, that's what you... Is, this is a that grimace? what you think grimace would taste like? What, what's a grimace? Is a grimace a frown or a happy? Well... I don't know. We Some backstory on grimace. It came out in 72, you said? Yeah. He was he had, evil. He had four hands. Four, four hands. Yes, four arms, and he stole the shakes from McDonald Land. Right, so the burger, hamburger stole all the burgers, and then, why did they have these people stealing and stuff? Because why did they? Ronald have McDonald was the force that brought the love back. Mm -hmm. But that didn't go over well, so they switched it. To they said it was too <laughs> scary for the kids, so they took two arms away because everybody knows that's less scary. <laughs> right, and for a grimace, whatever the grimace. Is. <laughs> and now he's a purple blob that just wants to hang out with Ronald. Right. And some people have projected that it's actually a giant taste bud. giant taste bud George Takai on Twitter he just wrote oh dear <laughs> <laughs> oh wow. so sad and who did I tell you came up with Grimace who invented Grimace Willard the Willard original Scott. McDonald's and someone else but I didn't know who that was yeah it was the original Ronald McDonald and then he created Grimace Interest. yeah it must have been a committee Together. Maybe he didn't have anything to do as Ronald. I think he was on like, drugs need, when he came up with Grimace. Though. I need buddies. I need a plot. There was a girl, too, right? A girl chicken? Oh, yeah, yeah. It was... What's her name? Girl chicken? <laughs> no, it was not. Birdie. Wait, aren't all chickens girls? <laughs> her name was Birdie. I remember her, yeah. And let me take care of these notifications. I'll be right back, everybody. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that, everybody. Yeah, yeah. So there was Hamburglar, Grimace, the chicken pilot. It was a pilot. Mm, yeah, because I remember that. Was that it? I feel like we're missing one. All I can think of is that guy from Fat Albert that had the, oh, yeah. the hat that went down to his mouth. Yeah. <laughs> I forget who that guy was. Yeah, but I love Fat Albert. The Grimace, the Grimace hat. I have a question for you. Yes. You can only have 
one fast food restaurant. What would it be? One fast fooder. It would be Sotsky's. What? Yeah. Really? Yeah. It's my favorite sandwich in the whole world. The Sotsky sandwich is unbelievable. And their pizzas. Does, does that count as... So you were very disappointed when the one closed. I was so sad. It was open for like two hours a day. <laughs> I didn't understand. We had a Shlosky's that yeah. opened here. And then COVID hit about the same time. Mm -hmm. And the guy who managed it, in my opinion, had never managed anything before. Yep. So he he wanted to hire teenagers for three or four dollars less an hour than everywhere else. Oh, is that what it was? He couldn't, you know, like Cole was going to work there, my son. And then he couldn't get anyone. So then they were open. It was, for only two hours a day or something. It was something crazy. And then, to make it even worse, we're a gluten-free family. Oh. So, Swazis is great because they have a gluten-free bun. But not at that one because uh -huh. they didn't want to spend the money on the inventory. Mm -hmm. So then we couldn't even go there for that. And then it just disappeared. So now it's at Chipotle. So now it's Chipotle owns the Swazis franchise for this area. So I think it's not coming back. Really? Yeah, they bought the whole thing. Interesting. Very yeah. sad. Can you throw that one out, please? Give me another one. That's, another one? Give me, like, the staple fast food restaurant. I mean... I, I think it would probably be Wendy. Wendy's over the others. Maybe Arby's. Well, what's your favorite sandwich at Arby's? The Arby's original... No, no, the Arby's Deluxe with the lettuce and the tomato. And the Arby's sauce. The roast beef. The yeah, roast beef. but the original has no lettuce or tomato. It's just meat and bread. Oh, I always get it with mayo. It's my favorite. I don't understand. That's not a sandwich. It oh, doesn't have lettuce. I don't know. It's like that. Always, that's how I always had it as a kid. It was just add mayo. That was yeah. Like, I don't that's... like that it's originally a pink slime. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> I don't, don't ruin it for I'm me. I'm not okay. a fan of that, but it's still yummy. It is yummy. And they do have the best shredded lettuce. They have the best Jamocha shake. Oh, I don't like any coffee. Really? Mm. No. So sad. So you would pick Arby's? Yo. I would have to go to McDonald's. Really? Yeah. I love the Big Mac and the fish sandwich, so. That's true. Although I just order a hamburger. I do too, time. because it's 250 calories. Yeah. And I know exactly what I'm getting. Exactly. And sometimes I order two hamburgers. What? And then I just take one of the beef patties off the other hamburger. Yeah. Make it like a double. Then you can get, you can add lettuce, but it's like 40 cents. And order a Big Mac sauce now. <laughs> Just make your own Big Mac. That's what I do sometimes. Oh, really? I get rid of the ketchup and mustard. The Big Mac hack. Yeah, I want to the mini. Interesting. Like the How much pack. is that then? It's like two something, like just over two dollars, I think. Do you remember the McDLT? I do. Hot side. Was that the hot side hot? <laughs> yes. Whole cycle. <laughs> yes, and the coral floral carbon thing. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't understand that ever. Like, oh, they were keeping. They didn't want your burger to get cold. Because who did? That's just a common think, problem. Because um, the Sonic. 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 I feel like all their burgers are always cold because of all the condiments. Really? It makes it cold. You don't think it's cold because they let the meat sit out too long? <laughs> Me too. <laughs> you think it's the lettuce? I think it's the lettuce. lettuce really <laughs> chilled my burger. <laughs> lettuce I think you've been a bit of it. Because whenever I order a specialty burger that doesn't have all that on it, yeah. it seems hot. Look, I've read a lot of WebMD, but never have I read that you should put some lettuce on a wound. Because it will chill it down. <laughs> Bag of peas, right? So that would chill it down. Frozen peas. <laughs> Right. But that's for a different surgery. <laughs> right. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. <laughs> With all your kids, have you not? <laughs> Indeed. I've experienced the surgery. Gotcha. I gotcha. Yes. So is there anything you would like to promote? Because, you know, would you like to promote your podcast? You like yes. To? Okay. Then tell me about your podcast. I do a history podcast called Tracing the Path, where we will actually talk about something like Willard Scott mm -hmm. and Ronald McDonald. And like maybe how that whole thing came about but there's always a second story that intersects and somehow you know like have you done the one with um the model t and the backyard barbecue yes yeah. actually okay that is actually this month is that really indeed <laughs> it is that's funny i was researching so i i we found out that back in the 20s when Mr. Ford mm -hmm. had such a huge operation, he needed wood to power the thing. So he bought 330,000 acres in Michigan from his brother-in-law. And then 
that wood ends up becoming charcoal briquettes. And that guy's last name is Kingston. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to find the, the line where hot dogs and grilling in the backyard come together. Like, when does that become a thing? And I'm pretty sure it's the Chicago Fair, but I'm not positive. Interesting. Yeah. So if, you like, again? if you like history and you like the 20th century specifically, it's tracing the path and you can find it everywhere. It's on all your podcasts, all, all, the, all, the all the streaming. No. Except LP. It's not on LP. If you have a record player, you probably can't oh, get LP. Oh, LP. That would be great. Order, order a record of the podcast. 1995. <laughs> be there in four weeks. That would be great. Well, they have his wife on soon, too. Oh, yeah, Rachel. Rachel. She runs FindingJoy.net, which is huge. Yeah, look at that, too. Yeah. So I have her, because I don't know how to make the connection here with her. Gluten free. Sorry, everybody, had an itch right there. And let me take care of these notifications. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that, everybody. Should I find some gluten free? Yeah, yeah. Because we have a celiac child, and when he was diagnosed, when he was like 18 months or something, she went gluten free from then on. So she's been gluten free for 13 years. So she's not gluten free for herself. No, sacrifice for him. Nice. So our whole family basically is now. But you're gonna need that big bucks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I like to give a rating. What do you give this shake? One to five. Seven. One to five. <laughs> So yummy. Five. I will give it. I just think it needs. Well, it's so sweet though. It's so sweet. I want to say four because it didn't have sprinkles. And the price though? No, three. It's <laughs> really overpriced. <laughs> uh, as far as the flavor goes, I'll give it like a three and a half. I just think it could be. I'm not getting as much blueberry as he is. I'm not sure. Yo. So she rated it three and a half plus one and a half for the flavor. Three and a half plus one and a half. Five. <laughs> three and a half, and you you can give it a five if you want, but the flavor, oh, sprinkles. Sprinkles and the price, it came down to three, but the flavor's great. All right, so if you try it, let me know what you think, and I don't know if they're going to, maybe, because it just came out today, so I'm on the, no, you could get it, it was solid on the board, but I wonder if, like, in a few weeks, if you could just buy just the shake. It seems crazy. Is it going to be a June thing, like Shamrock things every March? That's it? What is birthday every... Well, when's Ronald's birthday? What are they going to do for him? I think they're all... This is it. Grimace and Shamrocks. Although they should have a Halloween shake. What flavor would that be? Hopefully not Starbucks pumpkin. <laughs> pumpkin spice. They haven't done anything pumpkin spice. No. So what would, what would October be? It should be scary. Scary spice. <laughs> They should come with music. They they do all the, they can be these Spice Girls. They can you know, bring them back. What would another Halloween flavor be? Or uh, what is it? Candy corn. <laughs> yes. Oh, no one would candy buy that. Candy corn shake. No, no one would buy that. I would buy it. It could look if they did it in layers. That would be cool. But mm, so yummy. Anyway, if you try it, let me know what you think in the comments below. I appreciate you watching. I hope you have a wonderful day. And I will see you next time. Maybe, maybe him. They, oh, they have a new burger coming out that he wants to try, so maybe I'll bring him back. Yes. <laughs> Bye. Awesome video. I give it a thumbs up. And I hope you all enjoyed this reaction video. If you're all new to my main channel or my second channel or the Two Cent Chicks channel, make sure you guys subscribe. Give both our videos a thumbs up. Hit the notification bell to let you guys know when we both post. And share both of our videos with your friends and family members too, please everybody. And on my main channel, we are on the road to 8,000 subscribers. And on my second channel, we are on the road to 3,000 subscribers. And please don't forget to take a look at my other videos on my channel's playlists. On both my main channel and my second channel. And give them a thumbs up. And share them with your friends and family members too, please everybody. I really appreciate it. And please help me accomplish my goal to get 8,000 subscribers or more on my main channel and 3,000 subscribers or more on my second channel too. Please, everybody, I would really appreciate that too. And please help me bring my views and watch hours up on my main channel by taking a look at my other videos that are on the two playlists that are on my main channel. And give them a thumbs up and share them with your friends and family members too. Please, everybody, I would really definitely appreciate it. 
And please help me bring my subscriber count up on my main channel as well. Also, please, everybody, I would really appreciate that too. Please, everybody, please, please, everybody, please. And I know some notifications have popped up, but this video is almost over anyway, so I'll take care of them afterwards. And I'm off now, so until next time, see ya.